Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonzo Works. I'm David. Um, we're continuing on in my series of uh, this is part two of the um, of creating this um, spruce uh, group or yeah, three tree group, I guess. I've actually worked on this this tree and finished it to, to a point of initial styling. Now it's a bit confusing with the middle tree, you can't really make out that tree anymore. But what we're going to do is now work on part two is all about the middle tree making this tree and taking it to the next level and styling it and positioning it and etc and then we'll leave the small tree to last so plan is to cover this guy up um, as we work on as we work on the rest of the the, the mid second tree and once i do that you should be able to make it out we better what we got what we can do with what we're dealing with so just like i did in the in the video on this tree which is, um, it's on my channel. Uh, we're gonna work on this second tree. And it's the same process, process of elimination. You know, the design is kind of, now the design is set by that tree. Now we wanna follow that kind of design and go, go down in, go downwards in, like probably almost that lat angle, downwards in that direction. This tree already, I can see there's a few issues. It's, if I straighten this as a top, it's actually gonna be taller than this tree. So I want, the, I want this tree to finish about this height here. So, you know, oh, we're gonna have that in mind, always looking for a branch that I could wire. Luckily, it's got a couple of wires nice, I mean, a couple of nice branches in around here that I can wire and twist around and put in here to create an apex, which means this top bit can go. But in this case, maybe you wanna gin this apex, create something be, be more interesting, saying it died off, could be a possibility. There's, there's some of the thoughts. Um, the tricky part actually with this tree is all inside here. Now there's some nice there's some nice branches, but they're actually big branches, but there's not much foliage on the inside of them. And it's all at the tips. So I'll just try and bring this one. Like how would I even use this branch? I don't know if you if you can see it, but I'll, I'll try and explain. It's bare, 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 bare all the way until this branch here. Now it's a good 30 centimeters bare or more. Maybe 40 centimeters bare. And there's a bit of foliage here. Now I could always really contort it and twist it and bring it in like that. Create something like that. I can't see myself, but maybe create something like that. But on the, that's the type of thinking I have to go through right now. Let me just swing that camera around this way a bit. All right, so it's really, it's really um, difficult. Like, what do I do with this? Um, do I need to keep it? You know, I've got to look at it. Can I contort it? Will it make sense to be wrapped all the way around? In positions like that would it suit the tree not really but always be unusual and ugly so most likely it has to go and make, make a gym you know um the good news is i have a nice we want to look further up i have this nice younger branch that can be wired and put into position maybe in that spot anyway so by using a smaller branch of maybe a little bit higher up i can eliminate the need for that branch so that's the kind of thinking i need to work with then i've got this really nice big old branch here now it doesn't have a huge amount of foliage unfortunately on this part on this section so it doesn't have a huge amount of foliage in this section but if i if i maneuver and wire it it looks nice and old and it should have that nice big drop that we can create a nice big drop branch here possibly and then i can fill it out with this smaller branch that sits um, on top kind of thing making a layered approach so even though it's bare here this other branch will sit in here sorry my hands right so this is a nice big long plane and it's got foliage then this one will sit here, filling, kind of filling in this gap. So that's the kind of thinking you've got to start to play with. Then I'll just work my way up the tree and figure out where I'm going to go. The other problem is I've got this guy wire here holding the tree in this position. Now, I probably, what I'm going to, I'm going to have to figure out a way to, to be able to work around this guy wire. Maybe I have to I keep taking it off, adjusting it, keep, because I'm going to have to wire the tree. That's going to get in the way if I've got it there. I just got to think to myself, this is where it's ultimately going to be in this position now or probably further across something and so on but i almost have to let this go when i'm ready to let it go so that i can actually work on the tree um and then i just go have it in my head that you know keep bending it keep bending it and go this is where it's going to be this is where it's going to be this is where it's going to be and then eventually i'll probably wire a lot of the tree put then once i wire the tree then i can put the guy wire on so that's that's what you normally would do but i've had to put that there so i can see this tree work on it style it and then work the rest of the tree so anyway let's get cracking all right so just thought i've got this branch here that i wasn't sure of so 
I don't want to take it off just yet because as soon as I cut it off I won't get it back. <laughs> so I've just left it there in the back, sitting at the back there, trying to keep it out of the way. I want to see if I can build the rest of the tree and then we'll see if that branch can be used anywhere before I cut it off. Because I don't want to cut something off that you, know, you might be able to use later. Um, I've got so much branching in around here. The good, the good news is also I've got a lot of bud backing, bud, bud back on um, on the old wood. There's actually really some really nice smaller branches that are going to develop and make smaller branches, which is great news as well. Um, so that's a positive. But I probably want to start with this branch first, see if I can get some wire on it and get it. Um, see how it's creaky? Yeah, that nice creaky. It's so old that it's creaky, but I have to be careful. So I'm going to use that branch and then I'm going to probably overlay it with this branch. Um, and just make that first nice big sweeping first branch. I want to try and get this down more though. That's the tricky bit. It's a bit too, I want to get it right down. So it's quite flexible, even though it's old, it's quite flexible. Um, there isn't a huge amount of foliage, that's why this one will come in and make a bit of fill that foliage in. Maybe we'll use maybe we can even use this branch to fill that foliage in as well. This could probably be, you know, we'll work out, we'll work it all out. So it's a process of now getting some wire on all these branches. Um, and let's let's look what it looks like. So I'll go away and do some wiring. And we'll come back and, and see what it looks like. All right, so I just want to quickly show you that I've wired this nice, nice branch out here and just tried to flatten it out. Um, you probably, I don't know if you can see, but I've tried to this bit a bit of movement. Now, what I tried to do there because I moved, I didn't want to have it straight. I want to have it zigzaggy. It actually compresses it by going back, by actually making it like that. It's like a snake, you know. It contorts it. If you had a long, long bit, you're just contorting it. That's what I'm trying to do by twisting it up. So, I twisted it, dropped it. It's actually sitting in around here at the moment. So it might be okay. Might should be okay there. It's pretty low. It's lower than that one, which is good. Um, I want things lower on this side. I want the tree to get lower and lower as well. So that's a good thing. Now, one thing um, I really want to talk about was that back branch. I just, just had a look again. This trunk is a really nice line, but then this branch is quite heavy um, also there's lots of branching up higher Ooh. lots of branching up high that I can twist down and bend around so really I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eliminate this branch because we really can't do much with it unless I use it around, right around here to this side the branch is all the way to that side I use it over this side it doesn't kind of make sense even though you can it doesn't matter where a branch starts the actual view you can actually see it right there it doesn't look the best. If it was in the back, you could probably do it. So I just wanted to eliminate that with you having you guys here watching. So let's see if it makes a big difference. I'm going to, I'm going to gin it as well, so not having a nice gin in there would be quite good. I could have a long one, so I don't know, did that do any difference? Probably not, because there's so much foliage, but at least we're getting somewhere. Um, that's at least the first one. Oh, and this wind is just not giving up, is it? Um, so yeah, we've got the first one done. Eliminate that, eliminate that branch. I might gin it now. Um, might use it as a. Might have to wire it down because it's pointing upwards. I prefer it to point downwards. So I'll gin it and wire it. Put it, point it downwards. Probably can anchor it on a on a piece of wire or something just to get it moving in that direction. Uh, but I really wish this spring wind would piss off. Sorry, <laughs> it's just been windy as in, in, in at this time of year for some reason in Melbourne. It's been shocking um, and frustrating. But anyway, we'll. Um, that's what I want to show you quickly, and I'll come back and show you the rest in a minute. All right, just wanted to do a quick little update. <coughs> um, I pretty much wired a lot of these main branches in here. Um, started to drop them into place, like they really come down, just like those come all the way down, all the way down, like in pads. Now I did wire a couple of these back ones, but I did notice there was one here in the back that it was a lot. There was, um, there was just too much, too much happening at the back, so this one's going to be eliminated. So I just wanted to show you that I'm, you know, I do the process of elimination. The main reason I'm getting rid of that is there's other branches that will fill in that spot. Plus there was like a few many, too many branches coming from that kind of location. Which is the so we're just going to get rid of him. And that's that one done. <coughs> so another one gone. It's okay. Oh, we've got lots of branching. So no, 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 no huge problem. Lots of branching. So I've just wanted to show you how roughly wide all of these ones started to drop into place just to see where the main ones are going to go and then it's a process of elimination so I'll look at what other branches I'll have to eliminate I'm going to probably keep this one I'm probably going to keep all of them there's a little bit of confusion in here so I'm going to see if I need all of them um, but other than that it's looking good I think it'll fit in nicely 
it will fit in nicely around here as an apex, I'm hoping. So we're going to eliminate that. When I do that, I'll show you what I do. Um, other than that, it's pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. Just wire, wire, wire. And hopefully the wind doesn't blow the camera over. So wire, 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 and that's all. And start to position some branches. But no sub, no, it's only the main wires have gone on. Nothing in terms of secondary wires or tertiary wires, which I'll need to do. But <clears throat> for now, this is what I'm up to. Okay. Or a bit of a bit of a progress update. Um, I have pretty much wired everything from here down and placed it. Um, very hard, probably hard to see the background, but um, everything's been nicely wired out. Try to position a lot of things. Um, we're up to this branch, and I've done all that. Now I'm up to this whole apex part. Yeah, you know the rest of the tree's done. You can see, kind of see it. Make it out in the camera. It's, it's it should be finishing up a shorter tree, but. Now we're up to this area, and this is where we're gonna now concentrate our, well, this is where I need to concentrate my time on. Um, everything's been pulled down, right, pulled right down and bent down, so that's been really good. There's probably a little bit too much branching, but I haven't wanted to cut off too much yet, or trimmed it back yet. I just wanna see where it fits, because that's quite a nice tall, slender tree. This is starting to get a bit more, a bit more wider here. You probably see that, it's a bit more wider. It's shorter on this side and a bit wider on this side, which isn't too bad. Um, we'll just have to see what it looks like at the end, but I'm just going to start working on this section. Now my plan is, as I mentioned to you, I think this branch, there's a branch at the back here that I'm going to twist and create the apex in here. A lot of these branches are just going to be twisted down and filled in in this area to create a nice, nice um, conical shape, um, really nicely twisted up. They're quite long, they're quite long at the moment, but I know that can be very flexible and pushed all the way back in. So I just wanted to quickly update that. Um, I'm going to put the wire on the smaller ones now. This this long piece here, I will definitely at least try and gin it and see what it looks like um, after that process. You can see it's just not in the right spot. It's just out all the way out. So we'll see how short it becomes. And I think it definitely look like a nice little gin, but it's just a nice little small one, I think, at the top. Um, yeah, but let me wire all these other ones, sub branches, um, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, so I'm back with um, where we're up to. So I'm only up to i pretty much fine wired everything around you just so you can see what it looks like. You can probably see the outline of the tree much nicer pads. Everything's been pulled down really well. And it's probably the nice, nice height now. So now it's a matter of, I haven't wired the, um, the apex yet to twist it down into this bit here because I need to get rid of this. And um, I need to anchor, when I wire this larger branch, I need something to anchor the wire on. So I'll anchor onto this gin. So the fun bit is, you know, you're cutting everything off. I just want to show you how quickly that becomes really nothing. There's not too many branches that I might want to keep. Maybe this thick one, there's a thickish one in here. It's probably too long anyway. I just want a nice short gin, I believe, I reckon. So it's the fun bit's always trying to remove stuff. It's always good to cut stuff off, I guess. So let's see how we go. A lot of these ones are too thin to be nice big gins, so I might leave that one a little one. So how does that look totally different right now what you can see in foliage is the actual the apex that i'm going to twist down now twist down and put into into this into this top bit here 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 to actually create a nice trying to create a nice little apex so probably be winding it around and twisting it in it's got lots of branching that we can easily put into place so now really it's a matter of now trying to um trying to figure out where we're going to do with this gin how tall we're going to have it so I usually just mark it around so I don't go too far when I squish it. Um, I think it's too long. I think we're going to have a nice little short one. Let's just have a look, see what we can do. Let's use pliers, squeeze the bark, and it should just all peel away. It's pretty supple because this time of year the sap's flowing through it pretty well. So it should just come apart pretty easy. Just squash it, squash it everywhere. Always is better to have a longer gin to start with, and then you can work your way back. Ooh, I can just really peel it off now, pretty much. I hope. 
to go too far here because I want a kind of a natural look to the gin but I want all the bark to be you know really peeled right off so I just want to be so I want to have a bit of bark and then a bit of the gin so I didn't want to do it all flush I'll fix that up later while we try and clean that up Alright, so nice, you can just see the gin part now, it's quite, quite, you know, could be, could be used the whole thing, it's not too bad, it's, it's a bit pretty, pretty good, it's got nice little, little stubs and stuff like that, so it's not too bad. Now I'm going to wire this guy and put it in place, and then we'll see what it looks like with the gin. So let me go away and wire this, because all I'm going to do is kind of twist it down, twist it back down, and then bring it right around into, into this area here. I want to try. I want to try to encompass the gin, so the gin sticks out from the apex. So that's the plan at the moment. All the all the rest in here. We've done most of the wiring. I know I've got to tweak a few branches. I can see that I've got to, there's some, some small ones that I've got to put some wire on. But all in all, the majority of the wiring is done in here. Then I'll look at the tree and figure out are the branches too long? Do we need to cut back more? Do we need to compress more? So we'll have a look at it when we're done. <coughs> Okay, everyone, so I've completed the work on the second tree. Um, you can see now the apex is really coming nice and tight around the gin. I have wired the gin and I've straightened it just with a bit of wire, just to straighten it up. So I think it needed a bit of a straightening. It looks a bit better. Um, so now I took a step back and I just I just was looking at this tree. I'm not going to touch it anymore. It looks a little, still looks a little bit too much foliage compared to the main tree, but I'm not worried at the moment. It's a good, it's a nice initial styling, but what, what caught my eye is this lowest branch here. Now, if I eliminated that branch or created a very nice gin area, if I try and hide that, you can see a much nicer silhouette of branches. So, I'm not going to cut it off now, but when I put the third tree in, and I'm going to have a look at what the third tree looks like with this branch there, otherwise I'm going to gin this or cut it off. Um, most likely gin it, it would be nice to have a dead, dead piece of branch there hanging down. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see, you see how really low it goes? Probably doesn't suit where, whereas some of the branching is nice and high. And if that was gone, then it looks a lot better. So, can you see that? Yeah, anyway. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to leave off with. I think that's nice. The first and second tree, they kind of go really well together. Actually blend really well, really nicely. So... All good from that point of view. I've put I've put a couple of guy wire now in place to hold that tree, so it's a bit more firm. Um, maybe too much foliage, a little bit too much foliage still, but I think we can deal with that. It's better to have more than less at the moment. But uh, we'll look at this branch when we when we finish off the third tree, and we'll see how it looks like um, in the whole silhouette. All right, guys, that's it for part two of this uh, re restyle and rework of this, um, of probably initial styling really of this um, spruce group. All right, we'll see you in part three. Take care, bye.